Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Tim. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a late night ship with us on eBay and Poshmark. <laughs> Yeah, what are we doing? I don't What's know. Going it's on? Super late. We're supposed to be live listing right now, but we did a film premiere. Well, it wasn't a premiere. Fe 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 festival. Film festival. Whoa. Film festival today. Screening of the movie. And on. so now we're home. We have a late night post office, <clears throat> and I'm encouraging you to look. If you live in a metropolitan area, you might have one too. Mm -hmm. It's open until 10. Yes. All right, here we go. We're going to start on Poshmark. Do we it. have one, two, three, four, five sales on Poshmark. First one is here, 7588. These are lands and navy blue lounge pants. Told you the navy blue. Yep, it's having going. a moment. 7588. We got these for $3.59 and we flipped them for $17 on the Poshmark. Lands and souls. I mean, that's normal, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I don't think we need to show you lands and pants. I'm just not sure that they're the biggest bolo. <laughs> we just happened to get them in our truckload. And lands and what's that other brand that's similar to that that sells for us? Eddie Bauer. Ah, yes. Both sell. Just not, you know, not necessarily that much. Next is this Woman Within, which April picked up at the bins. I don't know. This is like some kind of brand <laughs> where is woman within from i can't I remember I it's a really pretty button down shirt and it's this mint green with a floral print it is a plus size uh i think it's a it's hard for me because i don't have the posh titles right in front of me i think it's like a 3x and when we took her to the bin she was looking for plus sizes and she found this it's a very beautiful top i wasn't sure about the brand mm -hmm. But we try to be all inclusive in our store and closet, so we decided to list it. Yep. 46 cents into it, and it sold for 14 bucks on Poshmark. Get it out of here. That's great, though. Somebody got a good deal. That's a good shirt. I don't, is it Walmart? I'm not sure where the brand is from. I know it's not a high end brand, but it does huh, huh. sell. I always just buy you know based on style and that style was, that was cute you're gonna see some cute button downs in this video okay it's the day of the button down i don't know why i can't predict this stuff. A bunch yesterday. Unless it's some button downs. <clears throat> okay next is a pair of liverpool jeans uh i think these do have a following these were not the most desirable style and we got them a long time ago the number is three two eight six they ended up selling for fourteen dollars on the poshmark Oh yeah, these are like skinny. I know Liverpool jeans because I used to sell them at Stitch Fix when I worked there. Okay. Uh, these are jeggings. I don't want to take them out. I'm sorry, y'all. We're having a long day. Uh, we paid three ninety nine for these, which makes me think that they were my size. Mm -hmm. I think maybe. maybe I tried them on and they didn't work out. They sold for fourteen dollars. Three ninety nine to fourteen. Not a great flip. Nope. But. We did get some money out of them. They're not going back to the Goodwill. And I think there is a following for Liverpool based on my experience working for Stitch Fix. If you have questions about that, leave them down below. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm all ears. Love talking about Stitch Fix. The next one is an absolute banger that could have been a pinger. That's true. That is absolutely true. Okay. This is a kimono and I'm going to make Dan take it out. Okay. Y'all need to see it. Yeah. We got this at the bin, so we have 99 cents estimated into it, but I could not leave it. Some of these kimonos are like ceremonial or wedding kimono or something, right? Some of them are really, really good. Some of them are not so good. I don't know the difference, but what I do know is that this kimono was authentic. Everything about it. It was not a costume. It was not from Amazon. It was not, it was none of those. And I can show you the details on it that make me know that it's authentic, meaning that it came from somewhere probably in Japan at some point was made there, probably. I can't assume all of those things, but I can say probably. So I priced it really high at like $200 trying to figure out what it was, figuring that someone that knows a lot about kimonos would tell me, but they didn't. It does have some flaws on it. 
it had a lot of interest on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. So there is a market out there for these. I'm gonna give you all the info that I can. I'm not an expert, okay? But I couldn't let this go to the dumpster, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. First of all, it's lined, and that is a the first thing that I knew it was authentic and that it was the real deal. This is not a costume. It's also, come on over here all to right, the let's camera. Let's go, let's go. This is, so it has a lining, as you can see, this part is like a, it's like a silk taffeta and this is more of like a, a crepe silk. But here's the real deal. On the end here, can they see this? Uh -huh. It's been hand hemmed, these little dots. Someone has hand stitched these, they're not at regular intervals. Somebody has done this by hand. You're not gonna get that in a costume. And so I knew immediately when I saw this at the bins that someone had put a lot of time and effort. See how that's a long space and that's a short one? Someone put a lot of time and effort into making this. It's 100% silk. I can feel that in the fabric all day long. And then when we look at the pattern, also the ties up here, look at this intricate embroidery stitching right here. It's beautiful. It's got these big ties. And the, the cool thing is the ties continue the pattern. This is telling me that it is supreme quality. There are some flaws on here. See, there's some little areas of discoloration. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous. And then on the back, yeah, Ooh, it has the back these. Is where it's at. It <laughs> has the big kimono <laughs> sleeves that are traditional, and it has the big gap here. This is all traditional. This is all checking out for me from what I know of kimonos. Y'all, look at this. It's just so pretty. I did look this up, and there is some things about boats and swans, and I don't know. I tried, and then I was getting into a rabbit hole, so I had to. But look how this <laughs> sleeve. This is the symbol of quality. So sleeve, sleeve, sleeve. But look. It matches up perfectly to finish the boat and to finish, see what I'm saying? It's really, really gorgeous. And this is what's telling me quality. There's some hand embroidery here as the borders with some um, metallic thread. And all in all, I think this thing is amazing. Yeah. So it was in the bins. And I think sometimes people don't know what to do with these kind of things that are in the bins. I listed it and I said there are some flaws, took pictures of the discoloration in certain areas. We did put it out on a flat lay and use dress pins so that you could see its shape. And this is the first offer I've gotten for it, but it's been listed for about three or four months. We paid 99 cents for it and it sold for 75, which I'm very, very happy about. I think someone got a killer deal. I just didn't know how much it was worth. Yeah. I was just trying. I was hoping in, at 200 it would sell overnight. Like it was something I didn't know and it was like amazing. <laughs> I still think 75 for something that was going to go to the dumpster is pretty great. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I will always save handcrafted, handcrafted items. Like I saved this poncho. We sent it to James, <laughs> but it was a Mexican poncho and it was all hand embroidered and I couldn't, it had some holes in it. Okay. But I couldn't leave it. So we ended up buying that too. <laughs> I don't know. I just seventy five is good though. That's incredible. Yeah. That's fantastic. <clears throat> All right. The next one is also no no no. This is from a thrift, but it was half off day. And I was so surprised that this was still there because I think it's one of the best things in our whole inventory. I love it so much. <laughs> And it is going to a viewer. Oh, even better. That's the best part. Wait, what's the viewer's name on the next label? Sylvie. Sylvie. Not, not this. Okay, yeah. This is going to Sylvie. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. But more than anything, I think you're going to love this piece. Trick. It's a Lucky Brand cardigan. And it is so chunky. And it's the perfect color of mustard yellow. I love everything about this cardigan. If it was my size, you best believe <laughs> I would have kept it. Uh, it sold on Poshmark uh, to Sylvie for $35. Thank you. Very much. So, so much. Look how cool this cardigan is. We don't pick up everything Lucky Brand, but it went into yeah. chunky cable knit with pockets. <laughs> Are we kidding here? Big pockets for your phone. Look at this sweater. I love it so much. It's like a goldenrod yellow chunky knit it's a little bit oversized but not too much where you feel like you're swimming in it and it's definitely multi-season because of the color i love it you can wear it every day for your whole life also the dress i'm wearing has pockets i just wanted to say that <laughs> i'm i went to a film premiere today and i didn't have to bring a purse do you understand when you're on a red carpet how great it is to not have to navigate a purse 
Everyone was like throwing their purses. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It was like, okay, we're ready for bed. Everybody was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was fine. And I was like, I got this because my dress has pockets. deep pockets. It's Kate Spade. I can't believe a Kate Spade dress fits me, but it does. It has deep pockets. Love it. So it served me well today. Oh my gosh. What? Picnic's in here. What are you doing, picnic? They must have. Hi, best friend. They're not supposed doing? to be in here. Oh, both of you. God dang it. Here comes Jeremy. Hey, guys, what are you doing? Hey. Hey, I'm going to do a YouTube. <laughs> you making a video? Hey, YouTube cat's here. Dang it. We've been gone all day. They just missed us, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're going to start on eBay. We didn't sell a ton on eBay. Eight things going out today. One of them is a bundle. Love an eBay bundle. I love an eBay e bundle. Okay, the first one is something that April took photos of and I just listed this week. And it is a free people, size extra small, not cold in this top, oversized lace pullover sweater. And it is from the haul. Remember when the haul we did at the bins and we got a bunch of free people? This is part of that. I listed a ton of free people and it looks like this. So it's a great multi-season. It's kind of like a hoodie, but it's sheer and lace. So you can wear it in the spring as well. And it sold for $20, which is right where we expect the free people normal tops to go so i was excited about that we have 99 cents into it and flipped it for 20. love that oh my gosh what are they doing <laughs> what are they doing nothing just hanging out no they're like getting into everything oh. and jumping over and Great. playing Great. wonderful i've told you this before but in case you're just tuning in our bedroom door does not close when it rains outside and it has rained so the cats like to barge in and come to our closet where our office is and check things out picnic is inspecting she's making sure <laughs> everything is to code and that we're kosher in this operation for sure goodness oh my god picky <laughs> go eight ounces on that and then we get to make a trip to the post office tonight yes. next is a pair of shorts canterbury new zealand men's size 33 khaki shorts cargo pockets these sold for 23.96 these were also something that april took photos of for us i told you once i'll tell you again we pick up all khaki shorts yeah. not all but like the higher end khaki shorts that are not thrashed at the bins and these look really nice. Canterbury, New Zealand. 24 bucks. That's pretty good for khaki shorts, actually. Yeah, that's great. Normally you get like 15, so that's good. Piggy, what are you doing? Oh my God, her head is in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> this name has the name of someone we know, but it's not someone we know but it's the same name, which makes me laugh. Come on. Come on, shorts. Work with me here. So I don't think we're going to meet our goal today, but it's it's okay. eBay's just been really slow. It'll pick back up. Don't you worry. These are the worst zippers of all time. We hate these bags. Hated it. Got it. Okay. Picnic. <laughs> we did not name her Picnic. We get this question a lot. <laughs> she came to us with a name Picnic, which we adore. I love it. I just would never think to name a cat Picnic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 16 right on, on the, the money. Nose. All right. The well, next is a bundle. A bundle. Right? Yes. We listed only Chico's button down shirts yesterday. <laughs> On a live list, we just kept listing button-down shirts. We listed 22 of them to be exact. Yep. And they were all the same size and basically all the same style. And the one I was obsessed with, it did sell first because it was so cool. 
I'm going to give you the titles of all of them. Chico, size 1, US 8, no iron, button front tunic, shirt, maroon, embossed leopard print. That sold for 25 Chico's woman size 1, US 8, button front shirt, blouse graphic, white, black, no iron. These are called no iron shirts. I had to steam them. Yeah, here's the first one. Don't you even forget that I had to steam them because I did. And it has an emboss. You want to get in there and show them what embossing yeah. kind of looks like? See, it's leopard. Okay, and then the last one was Chico size 1, US, no iron. US 8, no iron, button front tunic shirt, blue cotton sateen roll sleeve. Can you guys see her back there? Yes. Huh? They can see her. <laughs> Picnic! Oh god, she's under the desk. This is the one you were obsessed with. I love it. Yeah. It was black and white striped, kind of like wackadoo pattern. And then the other one is just a blue button down. They're all the same style. They just had different colorways. Picnic, what are you doing? Oh, she doesn't like that. Nope. Oh. She did not like that. Hi, sweet girl. She thought something was going to fall in her. She's out of here. Will these fit into a bed? I believe in you. I know somebody's screaming at me right now. Get a legal flag I know. Did you get all the air out? Most of it. And then someone else is screaming, cut a hole in the bottom. Yeah. Now you got this. Someone today invited us to do a YouTube video in their film studio. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> They had a professional film studio, and we were like, oh, I don't know if we're ready for that. I don't know if we're ready for that. We're certainly trying it, though. All right, I need an assist here on the clothes. Oh. I said last night I was Thank hoping you. these would sell in a bundle. I was hoping someone that really liked them, Jeremy, would come in and buy a bundle, and they did. Fantastic. The next is CP Shade, size medium, chambray snap chore jacket, vintage, 100% cotton hand dyed. I'd love to show you this because it looks like it's thrashed, but it was actually made, here you go, was made to be like that. So I just listed this, April took pictures of it, but since it's hand dyed, it's kind of made to look distressed. And I find that some of the CP Shade stuff is like this. This is a chore coat. And it has two big pockets on the front. These are snap button. And it's like a, it looks like a faded denim. Like it's been washed a thousand times. It hasn't. It yeah, doesn't feel is, like that. This is the newer tag. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if that's new, the newer tag. Well, it's newer than yeah. the block ones, I think. But anyway, it's cool. It yeah. looks used. Like really, really used. <laughs> but that's kind of how you want a chore jacket to look. And on the tag, it does say hand dyed. So that's... That's the variation you're seeing. Anyway, it's sold for $30. We have cats everywhere. I cannot. <laughs> I just cannot. This is so strange. Do you see them both in here? What is happening? Jeremy's just taking a bath. Yep, like, I like this room. What's going on back here? What are y'all doing? Not a fan. Don't try to get into the box picnic. Don't do it. Way this thing yeah, I think it was over. No, we're good. We're good. 16 ounces. If you put in one six in the ounces field on eBay, it will let you send it first class. Yay! The next thing is going to New York, New York, which I always make note of. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he's playing with all the labels. Okay. Escada Sport <laughs> Jeans, women's size 42, <laughs> US 12, straight leg, stretch denim brown. <laughs> We paid $3.59 for these and flipped them for $39.96. Awesome. The CP Shades we had $0.99 cents into and flipped it into $30. Yeah, Escada pants. I love selling Escada. Some people don't. I love it. Brown jeans. 
Yep, thirty nine ninety six. I think that's really good for a pair of pants. Yeah. Uh, these are definitely first class. I mean, overweight. Yes. They will go in a flat rate envelope. Finally, is a pair of Keens. Keen women size eight and a half, XT0205, lime green, fisherman sandals, suede, waterproof. Uh, these sold for $20, which okay. seems to be the normal price. These are over a pound, and they are going to Tyler, Texas. Tyler, Texas. Just almost where they. Floor is you want to look at. Oh, is it a tile? Yeah. It's kind of out that way. Yeah. I found a floor for our garage, but I it's like we can come either this weekend or tomorrow. It's like a preschool floor. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. So we can't come this weekend. We're not here. Okay. I'll hit that floor. Whoa. Oh, we put it. Okay. Well, you can empty the bag. Yep. <laughs> All right, got, got it. Okay. Yeah. Now, so that's it. We did sell another thing, but I think we'll wait till tomorrow. Do you want to try to fit it in today? What? Let's hold one more thing. Well, it's, a it's a, yeah, no, no, on eBay. It's a pair of shorts. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I think we should just do it. <laughs> okay. E N Y C E shorts. Three, seven, eight, eight. I also just listed these. Oh my god. Hey, Meg. <laughs> She's coming to get you her treats. What are you doing? I don't have any treats back here. I don't, I'm sorry. You're a squeaker. <laughs> really? Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Them. You can't find them? Is this another thing that's happened? What do you want? Picnic. I told you I don't have treats. Huh? 3788? Yeah? Yeah, you can find them. Unless they're in a box or something. That's weird. They wouldn't be in a box. Oh, I can't believe that we're going to have to do it tomorrow. Okay. Picnic. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What are you doing, sweet girl? I don't even think I told you guys. It's like 8.30. It's really late to be shipping on the eBay. Am I going to put these all in the same bag as our day? Yeah. Because I put them all in the same bag. Because you told me I could. 
Yeah. Don't worry about the stamp one. Okay. Padded flat rate. Chico's bundle. Chico's bundle. Roo. <clears throat> I cannot wait for that. <laughs> Six months later. Alrighty. We will be back to tell you how much we made today. Yes. Hey, picnic. What are you doing? Sleep? <laughs> Where's Jeremy? Jeremy. Jeremy. He's a window cat. Jeremy. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> hey. Distracted? Must be a bird. Hey, there you are. What are you doing? All right, I gotta go. Say bye. 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 Okay. All right. So I'm going up to our payments tab and I'm going to all transactions. It has some personal info, so don't zoom in. <laughs> this is where I'm getting the number for the item. So for the free people top, they paid $24.99 all in and $3.58. Come on. $3.58 plus $2.26 in promotion. So $5.84 is what I'm writing down in fees. The shorts were $28.95 all in, including shipping, and for $36 in fees. Okay, now what I do for the Chico, since it was a bundle, is I'm going to divide... Okay, each one was priced separately, so the bar shirt was $32.99 all in. The light blue was $30.99 all in. And the maroon shirt was $29.99 all in. And they each have their separate promotions, except for one of them. Hmm. Okay, so for the stripe one, there was no promotions. And the fee was $4.66. And the blue was $4.40 fee plus $2.82 in fee, so $7.22. I don't know, how, how did those get promoted? We just listed them last night. <laughs> eBay. That's weird. I have questions. And then the maroon was four twenty six plus two seventy three. I do not promote things when I list them. I have major questions on that. Yeah, that's strange. The CP shades was thirty four ninety nine all in, and it was four eighty eight plus three fifteen. 803 in fees. I'm really confused about that. <laughs> the Escada, $48.95 all in. $635 in fees and $416 in promotion. $1051 total in fees. And the Keen Shoes, $28.99 all in. $418 in fees and $267 in promotion. $685. So now I'm going to go to Vendu. I've already typed in the Posh. So we're going to Go back here. Okay. We're going to go to 7588, which is the land's end. And we're going to say they sold. Oh, come on. They sold on Poshmark. Mark is sold. $17. $359 cost of goods. $542 because we give a shipping discount. Zero shipping on Posh. And that gives us a profit of $799. Not great, but it's something. Next, we're going to go back here. 3286. Liverpool jeans sold on Poshmark. They sold for 14. Cost of goods was 399. Oof. 482 total in fees, which is the discount we gave in shipping. 
and then zero actual we didn't pay anything to shipping we just gave a discount so that's a fee 519 Whew. so you're seeing the actual profit numbers here sometimes it's a little rough we show you everything mm -hmm. 7008 woman within sold on poshmark $14 cost of goods was 46 cents and 482 in fees and zero in shipping we made 872 on that shirt the kimono 7279 that's our inventory number mark is sold on poshmark $75 cost of goods was 99 cents 1702 in fees and zero shipping 56.99 profit lucky brand 4852 perfect okay 4852 come on Amy you can do it there she is uh, Poshmark mark is sold $35 cost of goods was $199 902 in fees and zero shipping. We made $23.99 on that. Thank you so much. Very much appreciated. All right. <clears throat> 6943. Free people. This is sold on eBay. For $24.99 all in. Cost of goods was 99 cents. Marketplace fees are $584 and $424 in shipping. $13.92 profit. 6816. These so are the Canterbury shorts. We're going to go Marcus sold. Sold for $28.95. Cost of goods was $4.30. Sorry, cost of goods was $0.99. Cents. Fees are $4.36 and shipping was $6.44. Gosh, first class is creeping up. <laughs> Gosh, $6.44 for a first class package. That's crazy. That's, seven, that's eight, most seven, it's the highest it can be. Yeah. yeah. This is the black and white striped shirt. I love this shirt. That's a cat. <laughs> Picnic. Marcus sold. What are you doing? She has allergies. $32.99. Cost of goods was $3.59. $4.66 in fees. And $2.77 in shipping. Because I split it by threes, you see. $21.97. Profit. I can't believe you still promoted 7871. I'm so upset about this. Doesn't, yeah, you're right. It doesn't make any sense. Cost of goods 359. Marketplace fee 722. 277. Shipping 1741 profit on that from Chico's. It's really good. I don't know if this was a viewer, but if it was, thank you. 7872. So th this person only wanted the long sleeve. We only had three long sleeves and yep. they all sold. I mean, we probably have more, but we just Cost don't have them Yeah. Sixteen sixty four. Okay. Six nine seven zero. And this is good. I mean, it wasn't like the best sales day we ever had, but we were out all day long. Yep. And we still made money, so can't be mad about that. Sometimes this does this, and you have to click up here. I don't know why. It's because you it stays on the Poshmark, the whole the marketplace form, and you have to go up to the Vendu form. I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah. Forty-eight point ninety-five all in. Cost of goods was six fifty-nine on those. 1051 and 760 shipping 2425 was the profit and finally the keen shoes 4883 we don't do well with keen so i was happy to get an offer yep marcus sold 28 99 359 marketplace fees 685 and 830 1025 profit Whew. yeah a little bit of a rough day <laughs> 
But still, like I said, we made money while we were not actively working. Go to our analytics. Today, we made $244 profit, which is pretty close to our goal, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, we're 60, what, 66 bucks short? Yeah, it's not too bad, though. And we're at 15 in, in uh, sales, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Women's tops sold the most, of course. <laughs> Chico's number one selling. Hey, all right. <laughs> all right. Just a day in advance. Just a day in advance. Just Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, there's another channel, link down below. We do live listing Monday through Thursday nights, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Time, unless there's like a film festival or something going on. Today there was. Come hang out with us. Bye. Bye.